Hey everybody, it's Hill and Roper, Yo. and uh, we're here with a series of grudge matches between the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 libraries, and we're going to kick things off with a look at the best exclusive shooters on each platform. Alright, so we're going to pit Halo 3 versus Killzone 2. Roper, why don't you start off? Tell me why... Kill, let's look at graphics first. Yeah, why yeah. is Killzone 2's graphics better than Halo 3's? Well, I mean, for me, just from the technical side, um, Killzone does things like the uh, animation is better, um, the uh, there's post-processing effects everywhere. The particle effects are better. I mean, granted, Killzone came out what a year or so after Halo Three, so you know has has a little bit of technical you know edge to it that way. But um, I mean, if you just look at the game side by side, the two of them, I mean, Killzone is clearly the better looking title. Now I can't argue that that looking at them just visually, yes, Killzone Two does look better. But I do think you have to give a lot of credit to Halo Three in that it's doing something that Killzone Two and and no other game is doing, which is that the entire game that you're watching, whether you're playing multiplayer or single player, can be replayed and from any angles. Well, yes, the visual fidelity of Killzone Two is far better than Halo Three. You know that's because Halo Three is doing something that technologically nobody else in gaming has done. For me, I would rather. You know, plug in VCR if I want to record. I want to see what it, you know. I want to see greatness while I'm playing it. So let's go on to the story. Uh, for me, Halo Three completes sort of the trilogy of Halo and makes up for some of the errors that they made with Halo Two, which mainly was to have this bad cliffhanger ending yeah, that yeah. wasn't very satisfying. Uh, but Halo 3 sort of brings everything around and has this great ending where, you know, spoilers, um, you know, Master Chief basically freezes himself and says like, hey, wake me up when you need me next. It's like a great ending to, you know, at least that, that arc of the Halo storyline. And it does kind of bring some closure and answer some questions. And, uh, and it gets rid of the grave mind finally, which I think everybody sort of hated from Halo 2. Yeah, I mean, well, for me, the Halo story didn't really do a whole lot, but it's the same with Killzone. For me, for a lot of shooters these days, unless you're talking about something... I mean, even if you're talking about something like Half-Life, it's more about the uh, the environments that you're in and the setting. And Killzone 2, I think, does that way better than Halo does. I mean, just looking at where you're fighting in Halo, you're a lot out in, you know, like, force and, you know, that, like, uh, intestinal whatever the hell you're in and that part. That's all, you know, we kind of saw a lot of that stuff from before in the games, and you're, yay, I'm running through some trees, and here's, like, a carbon cutter, you know, whatever. With Killzone 2, you're in, you know, you're on Helgen, and you see the, the war zone, everything is metal, and and broken apart, and that setting to me is just better than anything that you see in Halo. Okay. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's move on to multiplayer because obviously with shooters, that's a huge thing. Um, you know, Halo has some really cool stuff going for it, but I mean, for me, the straight up, you know, when you actually are playing the game and you're in there, you know, the kill zones raw gameplay is is more fun to me. Just the amount of stuff that you unlock over the course of playing Killzone 2 online gives you so much to earn over, you know, 50 hours that you keep getting new stuff. And with, you know, Halo, you jump in there, you play something, you're like, okay, cool, you know, I killed this guy and I got a new medal or whatever. Now let me go try a new mode, so that's a different thing for it. But, I mean, for me, just the base play online is, is more fun in Killzone. And all I've really got to say to argue in Halo 3's favor is that if you just look at the stats, Halo 3, still two years later, is the number one played Xbox Live game that there is, which is really the mark of what is a great multiplayer game. It's that after you finish the single player, it's a game that you just don't want to stop playing. And that's because one, it's a lot of fun. Two, uh, you do have the forge and you do have uh, where you can actually customize and build your own levels and do some fun stuff with that. And then on top of that, you know, uh, you know they have DLC that's coming out. But I'd say the one thing that sets you know Halo apart from really any other console online game out there right now is what they do with their website because you know you could play I could play a game with you Roper and Halo 3 and then we can go to the Bungie website look at that game we can see like who got the most kills and what part of the map like what weapons killed the most people and that stuff is all saved forever right but I mean it's for you you can't knock that Halo is not a great online game um, but as far as DLC concerned um, Killzone has the first uh is it uh, steel, steel and Titanium back, I believe it's called, uh, coming out at the end of this month, and that's not the end of that. There's going to be more stuff coming out for Killzone, so that's also pretty cool. Granted, it doesn't have the, you know, the stat tracking that you would get from, you know, Halo, but for me, I mean, I'm thinking that only their huge, you know, really hardcore players are getting that, whereas the guys that just want to jump on and play for half an hour, you know, they're going to have just as much fun, if not more, just playing Killzone than they would Halo 3. And uh, lastly, we're finish this off with a look at the gameplay. Uh, this is probably the one that's hardest to decide. I think it's the easiest yeah, yeah. one to debate. Um, you know, really, I mean, they're first-person shooters, so the gameplay in general is sort of similar. The idea of a first-person yeah. shooter doesn't really change, but, you know, with, with Halo 3, you do get, you know, the ability to jack vehicles, that kind of stuff. You know, you get the sticky grenades. It's 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 a lot of fun. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, Killzone actually tries to change that up a little bit by having sequences in the game that are standalone parts and change things up, which I think is kind of cool. Not all of them work, but some of them are actually really, really cool. So I think the flow in Killzone is a little more changing than it is in Halo, and you get a little bit more out of it. Um, for me, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I'm supposed to be defending Killzone here, but I think actually Halo controls a little bit better than Killzone does. Um, but, uh, uh, but, but I also get a lot more feedback from the weapons, and when you shoot somebody in Killzone, you, you actually you can tell that they're being wounded and you can see you know the impact of bullets and I, I don't really get that much from Halo so you know they just don't you know the weapons in Halo are great but they don't feel as rewarding to fire as they are in Killzone. The one thing that they, Bungie does very well is they balance out those moments where you're kind of running through corridors or through open areas and shooting people and then also the stuff you're doing on vehicles because they actually do have a really great balance of when you're on vehicles when you're off vehicles and you know Warthogs are still fun to drive, even if you're going to keep flipping them over all the time. Yeah, well, that's half the fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that seems like it's about it for now. We're going to keep up with this series. We'll be looking at RPGs and racing games, and just basically as things go on, we'll hit pretty much every genre. So uh, tune back in for more of this coming in the future. And uh, as always, leave comments here. We actually want this to start a flame war. We just want to see what the funny comments are. So please do uh, get chatting, and uh, we will see you guys next time.